ओके देन नमस्ते आप सत श्रीकाल दिस इज ये संकल्प कांस्टिया एंड आई वेलकम ईच वन ऑफ यू इन दिस अमेजिंग सेशन ऑन म्यूचुअल फंड्स आर यू रेडी टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू देन लेट द गेम बिगिन गाइस सो सो फार सो गुड आई होप वी आर ऑल क्लियर टिल नाउ सो सो फार म्यूचुअल फंड्स वी हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज म्यूचुअल फंड्स and we have also understood what is closed ended uh, and open ended mutual funds right can somebody tell me guys that what exactly do you mean by the net asset value the most important feature of our mutual funds can anybody tell me the most important feature of our mutual funds and that is the calculation of nav per unit what does nav stand for guys Correct. It is the net asset value. How do you calculate the net asset value? You calculate it as market value of investments, right? Market value of investments that could be equity shares, debentures. It could be any any investment. It could be equity shares. it could be debentures it could be bonds etc gold real estate plus oh, then uh, dividend received okay then interest income if any okay and then any other income receivable am i right yes sir all of this is about the inflow but at the same time there is also an outflow what kind of outflow do we have what kind of outflow do we have correct it is related to accrued expenses slash any payable slash any payable all of this together will give me something called as total net asset value total net asset value it could be a outstanding liability yeah anything all of this together is my total net asset value now when this total net asset value is divided by the so total net asset value is divided by the outstanding number of units outstanding number of units we will get nav per unit we will get nav per unit am i clear everybody okay now two important things remember that nav per unit will come in four decimals and number of units can be represented in two decimals am i right okay okay now i have a question to each one of you so so far we have done this that what exactly is my uh, net asset value okay i want to know the difference between the open ended and closed ended fund come on let's see whether you are able to answer or not whether you remember it or not the difference between the open ended and closed ended fund come on everybody tell me Yeah. In the last session, we concluded on that, so I'm sure it is fresh in your head. So please tell me, what is it? Open-ended, close-ended. Open, close. In case of open-ended, any time, any time buying and selling of mutual fund from mutual fund company directly. Very good, Sai Nandini. Any time. buying and selling of mutual fund units 
and that too directly from mutual fund company absolutely correct but in case of close ended buying of mutual fund only during nfo period selling after nfo on stock exchange on secondary market selling after nfo on secondary market Alright, done. This is the main thing. Okay, number of units. In case of open ended, we have unlimited number of units, guys. But in case of close ended, we have limited units issued during NFO. Am I right? So. Uh, limited units issued during NFO. Done? Yes. Chalo. So we are done with this much. Okay. Close ended during NFO or stock market. Open ended pricing of units is equal to NAV per unit in close ended pricing of units based on market price on stock exchange. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nagarand Bhatt. Well, well, well answered. Well answered. So here in case of open ended pricing is on NAV per unit. But in case of close ended pricing is on market price per unit. Okay. Chal. So these are the main uh, divisions of open ended, close ended. We are clear. What is NAV per unit? We are clear. Can I now start with a uh, new concept today? Chalo, let's start and on that note, I want a CIO for my mutual fund company. Whoever says CIO will become my uh, CIO. So I want to know who wants to be the CIO of my mutual fund company. So I have a mutual fund company called as SK mutual fund company. I am looking for a CIO. Sir, what is a CIO? Okay, I will tell you what is a CIO. Okay, Sushil. I think Sushil, I already made. Uh, okay, okay. So, Chief Investment Officer. What is a CIO? Chief Investment Officer. And Sushil has written the CIO first. So, he is my CIO. What is a Chief Investment Officer? Okay, now before I tell you that, I want to know a few things from you. Have you seen the stock market? Have you seen CNBC? I am sure at final level, 
students have at least this much knowledge that the star stock market prices are constantly going up and down have you seen the stock market price going up and down does the price of the share which are listed on stock market change every second or every minute obviously in the trading time say trading time is 9 30 to 3 30 does the price of shares on the stock market change every second change every minute yes or no i want to know your answer Nine fifteen. Very good, Sushil. Well, the answer is yes. Okay. Now my next question: Does the Nas also one more thing? Did I tell you all how many uh, mutual funds in India are open ended in terms of percentage and how many are closed ended? Any idea? Did I tell you all in the last session? More than ninety five percent. More than ninety five percent. Not even ninety five. More than ninety five percent are open ended. So obviously in open-ended, the pricing of mutual fund is on NAV per unit. My next question to you is, does NAV per unit change every second like equity shares? Does NAV per unit change every minute like equity shares? Yes or no? Next question to you. I'm sure our CIO can answer this question. Does the NAV per unit is also getting updated on the stock market every second, every minute? Yes or no? Suhas, Varanya, Sainandri, Sushil, everybody is saying yes. Okay, uh, let, let's wait for everybody. And the truth of the moment and the answer of the moment is no. Yes is not the answer the nav per unit is not updated every second ah, shabin is now saying no bala lina is saying now no after listening to me or before only you had told good the nav per unit is updated by the mutual fund company at the end of trading session every day the trading session ends on say 9 3 30 pm 9 15 to 3 30 so 3.30 the trading session ends and at 4 p.m. Hello guys, at 4 p.m. the NAV has to be updated. Do you know who updates the NAV to whom? The CIO of the mutual fund company updates the NAV to the SEBI. SEBI will call you at 3.30 p.m. Hello, Mr. Sushil Chakka, you are the CIO of SK Mutual Fund Company. Send us the NAV per unit of today by the end of 4 p.m. Mr. Sushil will say, okay, sir, I will send it to you. It is his responsibility to send it by 4 p.m. That same NAV per unit, which is published to SEBI and published every uh, at every place, will remain valid till the next day, 3.59 p.m. Will remain valid till 3.59 p.m. So if you want to trade in mutual fund, so yesterday's price of mutual fund is say uh, at 4 p.m., whatever it is, that will remain valid for the next day till 3.59 p.m. Are we clear guys? So now the CIO, the chief investment officer of SK mutual fund company has this responsibility. So it is not like an equity share that every second the price is changing. Got it guys? Okay? Are you tell okay or no? So... So chief investment officer has to calculate NAV on daily basis say at 4 p.m. and report it to SEBI.
but NAV includes market value. So if the amount is invested in shares, how is it calculated? Varsha madam, I am here to tell you that. Let me take it over. We'll tell you all of that. So 3.30 p.m. the market closes. At 3.30 p.m. we will get the market value of the shares. We will apply it to our mutual funds. By 4 p.m. we will get the value NAV per unit as per the last closing of the equity shares. That value of NAV will remain applicable till the next day. Got it? Got it, ma'am? Okay. Chalo. Now, should I take things forward? Are you clear till here? Okay. Now, here comes my next example. Mr. CIO, please be ready because you have to take the forefront and answer. Say today's date is 1st of January. Say 2nd of January. Today's date is 2nd of January. Okay. 2nd of January day end. Say at 4 p.m. Mr. CIO has reported the NAV to SEBI at the rate rupees 15 per unit. You have to say two things to the SEBI. What is the NAV per unit and what are the outstanding units? And the outstanding units are 2 lakh units. And the outstanding units are 2 lakh units. So 2 lakh units at the rate 15 per unit is the NAV. Is the reporting done by Mr. CIO on 2nd Jan at 4 p.m. Okay. Okay. Now on 3rd of Jan. On 3rd of Jan what happens is this. On 3rd of Jan there is some additional information that you have. Okay. Okay, on 3rd of Jan, I am giving you some additional information. Hmm. Now, on 3rd of Jan, I am giving you some additional information. Pay attention. On 3rd of Jan, at 11 a.m., Mr. Sushil's friend, Mr. Sushil, tell one of your friend's name. At 11 a.m., Mr. Sushil's friend comes to SK Mutual Fund to purchase more. Uh, achalo, let's take this as 20 lakh units. Think big. Do big. Hmm. To purchase Mr. Sidhu. Okay. So Mr. Sidhu comes to Mr. Sushil and says, Brother, I want to purchase 2 lakh units. I want to purchase 2 lakh units in SK Mutual Fund of which you are the CIO. Mr. Sushil says definitely I will give it to you. Okay. Sushil, I want one more of your friend. Another friend comes at 11.45 a.m. And uh, the name of the second friend is Varsha. Miss Varsha comes and tells Mr. Uh, Sushil that I want to sell my 80,000 units. Mr. Sushil says, okay, madam, no problem. Okay, done. Okay. Just to give you an idea, between 2nd Jan 4 p.m. to 3rd Jan, between 2nd Jan to 3rd Jan, uh, just to give you an idea, between 2nd Jan to 3rd Jan, 
वॉट एवर इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट एस के म्यूचुअल फंड हैड डन ऑन दैट देर इज अ पोर्टफोलियो अप्रिसिएशन ऑन दैट देर इज अ पोर्टफोलियो अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ रुपीज फोर लैक्स देर इज अ पोर्टफोलियो अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ रुपीज फोर लैक्स प्लस 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 the portfolio has also received some equity dividend hello portfolio has also received some equity dividend of rupees 3 lakhs of rupees 3 lakhs okay this portfolio includes gold silver equity shares everything Yeah, it it could have anything. It could have gold, silver, shares, etc. And also, it received equity dividend of rupees three lakh. It received equity dividend of rupees three lakh. When on third Jan, it received it on third Jan at two p.m. 1 pm chalo at 1:30 pm okay then on have to change the color ha huh. at 2:30 pm sk mutual fund incurred some expenditure Incurred some expenditure to the tune of rupees one lakh fifty thousand. To the tune of rupees one lakh fifty thousand. Now listen to me carefully, guys. You, as a CIO of the company, have to tell at four p.m. third of Jan. what is going to be the nav per unit based on the given information will you be able to do it mr sushil you have no option you are the cio of the company you have to do it others can also help mr sushil and help him calculate the total nav per unit based on the information given i am giving you all 5 minutes all the information is given here write it down use your calculators use your brains don't be in unnecessary hurry and i'm sure you will be able to calculate the answer everybody has to give me the answer as soon as you do the calculations let the answer be wrong let the answer be right whatever it is nobody is going to judge you make as many mistakes that you want to do here so that examination you will never do the mistake so this is my example you have to now answer this question your time starts now everybody
Okay, time is up. We have the answers from everyone. Let's check what is the answer. So we have different answers from different people for the same sum. Why so? Somebody is saying 14.41. Somebody is saying 16.71. Somebody is saying 15.26. Somebody is saying something else. So we have so many answers for the same question. Why is that? Why is that German? Huh? Okay. Chala, let's see. What are the answers? See, it's okay. See, somebody is saying 15.16. So everybody is having their own answers. For five, there are just five numbers that I can see. Still, there are so many answers. Mm, why so? So let's see. Okay, on that note, let us start with the solution. Now, the first thing that you have to do is, see, usually NAV is calculated as market value of investment plus income received, less expenses, agreed. But guys, note one thing, this is an ongoing mutual fund. So already a NAV is available with you, which is of the previous day. So here the total net asset value is available with you. To that, you will do some additions and deletions. To that, you will divide by the outstanding number of units as on 3rd of Jan 4 p.m. To that, you will get the NAV per unit. Did not understand? Focus and pay attention. So what was yesterday's NAV? See, I have to calculate what? I have to calculate today's NAV per unit. Okay. Can I say today's NAV per unit is nothing but yesterday's NAV is yesterday's NAV which in turn is calculated as yesterday's NAV per unit multiply by total outstanding number of units. Am I right? So can I say this will give me yesterday's NAV? Sorry. This will give me yesterday's NAV. Got it? Which is how much? It is 15 per unit multiply by 2 lakh units. Multiply by 2 lakh units. Am I right everybody? So, tell me, how much does this work out to? Oh, 20 lakh units, no? Oh, okay, 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 okay. 20 units. Hmm. Now the answers will keep, start changing. <laughs> okay, so 20 lakh multiply by 15. Can I say this is 300 lakhs? So this will become rupees 300 lakhs. Rupees 300 lakhs. Are we clear with this? To this, to this, now, suppose you are the CIO of this mutual fund company. Yesterday, 3 p 4 p.m., the value of your mutual fund NAV was 300 lakhs. Now what is happening? Tick, 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 tick. 11 a.m. Mr. Sidhu comes to purchase 2 lakh units. My first question to you. At what price are you as a mutual fund going to sell the units to Mr. Sidhu? Please tell me guys. At what price are you going to sell the number of units to Mr. Sidhu? Tell me. Everybody. Can I say at 15 per unit? Boss. At at 2nd Jan at 4 p.m. once the price is declared at 15 per unit that will continue for the next day that will continue for the next day till 3.59 p.m. So in between whoever wants to come wants to buy wants to sell will be at yesterday's NAV per unit which is 15 absolutely correct Sainandini absolutely correct Tarka, Sureka, Sushi everybody yes or no yes sir so we will say that to this 300 lakhs add Units issued to which we will receive cash. So we will add, add units issued. Units issued. Okay. How many units are being issued to Mr. Sidhu? 2 lakh units. And per unit, 
एट द रेट फिफ्टीन पर यूनिट सो टू लैख इन टू फिफ्टीन पर यूनिट इज थर्टी लैख Is rupees thirty lakh? Are we clear, everybody? Is the units issued clear to you? Yes. Done. 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 Next. Then Miss Varsha comes, but Mr. Miss Varsha is selling us the units. So if Miss Varsha is selling us the units, can I say? Can I say it will be like an outflow for us? It will be like an outflow for us because. she is selling us units we will have to pay her so we will do less units redeemed units redeemed as in repaid what is redeem redeem means repay okay how much Eighty thousand units at the rate rupees 15 per unit So eighty thousand into fifteen, twelve lakh. Twelve lakh. Got it, everybody. Okay. Then, so this is done. This is done. Then there is a portfolio appreciation in this twenty-four hours duration. There is a portfolio appreciation. How much is the portfolio appreciation? Can I say the portfolio appreciation is to the tune of four lakh? So add. Uh, portfolio appreciation how much rupees 4 lakh can i say it is an inflow so we'll write here at okay then okay dividend received so can i say now you are receiving the dividend dividend received is what it is like an inflow so at dividend received Guys, how much is the dividend received? Three lakh. So we will add three lakh. Got it? Are you understanding, guys? Okay. Then, 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 anything else is left? So this is also done. This is also done. Oh, you incurred expenses before three fifty nine p.m. Reduce. You reduce the expenses less expenses incurred. How much? How much? Rupees one lakh fifty thousand. It is an expense. So can I say we will reduce? Units redeemed, redeemed is a repayment. There is a cash outflow. There is a cash outflow. So outflow money gone. Expenses incurred. Outflow money gone. Gotcha, everybody. All of this together. All of this together is called as total nav. Anything left, beta? Anything left? Mr. Sushil, you are the CIO. Are you clear how to calculate? Varsha, are you now clear how to calculate the NAV per unit? Now, all of this add together will give you how much? Do the calculations and tell me, guys. Guys, you have to be very quick with your calculations and you have to be ready with it. Now, I will not going to waste my time in doing these calculations. No, my point is explaining you this, not doing the additions. What, yeah? <laughs> So what is the total nav? Thirty-three crore twenty-three lakh fifty thousand. Three crore twenty-three lakh fifty thousand. Okay, divide by. Outstanding number of units divided by outstanding number of units. Now, this again, you may have made a mistake. If not, good. 
initially there were 20 lakh then mr siddhu purchased our units so can i say the number of units increased from 20 to 22 lakh then miss Varin, varsha redeemed it so 80000 reduced so net we are left with 21 lakh 20000 so there were 20 lakh units to which we added 2 lakh units to which 80,000 Varsha came and redeemed and now we were left with 21 lakh 20,000 units. When we divide this, we will get the NAV per unit and tell me who all gave the correct answer and the answer is 15.2594. Okay, now obviously there were other answers also. Do tell your mistake so that others can also learn from your mistake and whoever gave the correct answer, good job, well done. Are we clear guys? Okay. So can I conclude? Can I conclude on that note? If NAV is to be calculated If NAV is to be calculated on daily basis How will we calculate it guys? We will calculate it like that nav is equal to yesterday's nav per unit multiply by can i say number of units outstanding so this will give us total yesterday's nav this will give us total yesterday's nav total yesterday's nav to this to this we will add to this we will add what we will add the units issued and units redeemed right so add units issued so when you issue units you will receive money money received and units hello units redeemed to which we will say money paid got it everyone then there will be portfolio appreciation guys then there will be portfolio appreciation got it then there will be dividend received so here we can write dividend so portfolio appreciation in that day huh? portfolio appreciation of that day dividend or interest received of that day am i right less daily expenses and finally we will get finally we will get correct today's total nav to which we will divide outstanding number of units to which we will divide outstanding number of units which is nothing but Yesterday's number of units plus units issued minus units ready. Am I right? Okay. What are the mistakes you did? Same your dividend and interest actually received should be considered on receivable on day. Any doubts? Guys, what are the mistakes that you did? Let me know, no? Let others know also. Yeah, and finally, this will give us nav per unit. Gotcha, everybody. Did not consider units redeemed and issued in nav calculation. Okay, that is fair enough.
taken to a 20 lakh units instead of 200 lakh okay haven't considered that units issued and units redeemed okay just considered appreciation and expense but not units issued and redeemed okay fair enough but now everybody is clear but now everybody is clear on that note everybody on your own are going to solve question number two of the obviously <laughs> of our book so please open this on that note everybody question number two Calculate today's NAV of flexi fund if the following details are given. Yesterday's NAV per unit is given. Total number of units outstanding. Expenses. NAV repurchase value. Appreciation. Units fresh issued. Redemption. Dividend received. Guys, based on the information, can you say that question number two will be solved by you by yourself? Should I give you all five minutes? And I hope everybody will get the correct answer. Or you want me to directly solve or you feel that no sir we can do it yes i like that spirit chalo your time begins now the google drive students pause the video solve the sum and come back come on start everybody sir is dividend received or declared received received brother received so your time starts now everyone Okay, time is up. Are you all done? Everybody with the correct answer? Only daily expenses or both fixed and daily? Daily. Guys, when you are done with the answer, also write the answer that you have got. Chalo. On that note, I will solve the question. Assuming everybody has done it. Chalo. So, we have to calculate the nav per unit and today's nav per unit okay so we have to calculate today's nav per unit everybody has got the same answer or here now also answer is different 
सेम आंसर चलो वेरी गुड सो लेट स्टार्ट we will start with this uh, first we will start with yesterday's nap per unit multiply by yesterday's outstanding units sorry what is yesterday's nap per unit 12.87 what is yesterday's outstanding number of units 1.25 crores right so 1 crore 25 lakh guys i told you all be ready with the answers no so this will become 1608 75000 okay Okay, plus money received. How much money is being received? Huh. How much money is being received? So see here. We will say money received is units fresh subscription two lakh at two point eight seven. Two point eight seven lakh units at the rate rupees twelve point eight seven, which is twenty five seventy four thousand. Done. then units redemption so money paid less money paid actually i should write here units money received so units issued then money paid is units ready So money paid will be how much? Seventy-five thousand units at the rate twelve point eight seven nine sixty-five two fifty. Okay, so next then we have okay. then we have this is done this is done appreciation of portfolio today so add portfolio appreciation hmm how much correct 12 lakhs okay then dividend received 1 lakh right right okay then expenses 1 lakh so we will write here less expenses how much 1 lakh finally we will be left with our answer And that is total nav. Please tell me the total nav, guys. Is everything considered, right? So, 
first see do you understand my way of teaching first we discussed an example i left it on you to answer that example you answered that example there were few rights few wrongs and we got the concept then we wrote the concept then we wrote the concept that okay this is the concept and now we are clear with the concept and then from here on we moved on to a practical sum something that i told you all on the, the first session right example concept sum example connect to the concept go to the sum and now sum become so easy right so what is the answer it is 16368375 Divide by outstanding number of units. Done. What is the outstanding number of units? One crore twenty five lakhs plus fresh subscription two lakhs redemption seventy five thousand units. One crore twenty six lakh twenty five thousand. And we will get the final nap per unit. Tell me what is your answer? Twelve point nine six. Hey, what is your answer, guys? Twelve point nine six five zero. Perfect. And with this, we complete this question as well. Gotcha, everybody. Cha done. So two concepts done so far. Nap per unit. General. open ended close ended nap per unit based on today's info then now we will move on to the next concept and that basically is called as the concept of closed ended mutual fund do you know what is a closed ended mutual fund definitely you know again what we will do is correct we will take a small example from that example we will correct from that example we will create our concept and from that concept we will solve the sum in our books chal let's start so Example is SK Mutual Fund is a closed-ended mutual fund this time. It's a closed-ended fund. The NFO period is say NFO period is first Jan. To tenth Jan, okay. At the rate rupees ten per unit, 
okay done now suppose on 15th of jan i want to purchase the sk close ended fund 15th jan i want to purchase sk cf close ended fund what how will i purchase what can i do you have to tell me the answer come your answer is correct sir if i want to purchase sk mutual fund so your answer is sir purchase from directly from stock market purchase directly from stock market am i right the secondary market now on 15th of jan okay on 15th of jan the nav per unit is rupees 16 see by default even if it is a closed ended fund you still have to publish the nav per unit to sebi that is a compulsion so nav per unit is 16 and market price in stock market is rupees 18 per unit tell me if the nav of this mutual fund is 16 per unit but it is selling in the market at 18 per unit what can be said about this mutual fund what can be said about this mutual fund it is trading at premium or it is trading at discount market price greater than nav so can i say it is trading at premium right so if market price of closed ended fund is greater than nav of that closed ended fund what do we conclude guys what do we conclude correct we conclude that it is trading at premium got it guys done so sure. next fifteenth jan fifteenth jan nav is rupees same sixteen per unit but market price in stock market is rupees 14 per unit tell me what will happen what do you call this as correct can i say we will call this as trading at discount trading at discount are we clear guys 
बोलो बोलो टेल टेल टेन ओके सर नाउ लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल ऑफ मिस्टर तारका तारक सो मिस्टर तारक wants to purchase a escape wants to purchase sk mutual fund wants to purchase sk mutual fund which is a closed ended fund he gets some info from sebi he is a very qualified person and uh, he gets some info from sebi that it is trading uh, that it it has a nav at the rate rupees 10 per unit also he knows that it is trading in the market price at rupees 12 per unit he wants 1000 units he wants 1000 units tell me how much he will pay to purchase this 1000 units Correct. The correct answer is twelve thousand. Don't fall in the trap of NAV because this is closed-ended fund. So, closed-ended funds always traded at market price. That is tel per unit. That is rupees twelve thousand. Got it, guys. Hey, Lena is saying ten. Miss Lena, I just told you all. Closed-ended funds don't get into the trap. Closed-ended funds are always traded at market price. No, Lena. After the NFO is done, are you understanding, Lena? clear okay suppose uh sk closed ended fund is there and mr tarak wants to sell his 2000 units
nav at the rate 12 per unit market price at the rate 14 per unit tell me what will happen tell me what will happen what will be the price again you will choose the market price Got it guys? So can I say we can conclude that in a closed ended fund purchase and sales will be at market price on stock exchange okay done Chalo. now there are two questions which we have to do as regards this Before that, a general point which I want to make clear is this. First, dividend on equity shares throughout the subject, you have to keep this in mind. Dividend on equity shares and interest on bonds or debentures is always always calculated at face value i am sure you know this but it's better if you write it down please write it down guys come on Okay, second thing, suppose NAV is equal to rupees 20 per unit and I tell you calculate the market price of closed ended fund if it is trading at a 20, 15% premium b 10% discount come on your time starts now Tell me. Correct. So A twenty is the nav plus fifteen percent premium is equal to rupees twenty three and B. 20 is the nav, 10% is the discount, so it will become rupees 18. Gotcha? Mainly what I wanted to say is that market price 
ऑफ क्लोज एंडेड फंड और अदर द प्रीमियम और डिस्काउंट वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू से इज द प्रीमियम और डिस्काउंट इज कैलक्युलेटेड ऑन नैप पर यूनिट टू कैलक्युलेट द मार्केट प्राइस अच्छा एवरीबॉडी प्लीज राइट इट आउट सॉरी सॉरी कमन ऑन दैट नोट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स एवरीबॉडी स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स Come on, let's start with question number six. Mr. Vivek purchased a three. Okay, okay. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Before I start with question six, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Suppose. One more thing. Example. <clears throat> Suppose, uh, Miss Varenya. Okay. Purchase is a closed ended fund at rupees fifteen. Sells the closed ended fund at rupees twenty. Okay. In between, as in before selling, earns. dividend of rupees 3 per unit what is return of miss varenya what is the return from mutual fund for miss varenya tell me guys come on डन
Okay, you are saying eight per unit. Agreed. I am asking you in terms of percentage. So you will say that see, you had purchased it at fifteen. So twenty minus fifteen, five rupees plus dividend three rupees. So you have earned eight rupees. How much did you invest? Can I say fifteen was your investment? On that you have earned eight rupees. So this will be equal to eight divided by fifteen, fifty three point three three percent. Am I right, everybody? Guys, are you understanding? Can I say so? So so so. We can we can give a conclusion. What that returns in case of closed ended fund will be equal to. Sale price, right? Which is twenty minus purchase price, which is fifteen plus dividend per unit divided by purchase price per. Got it, guys? Oh 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 oh! I am gone. Chal, let's start on that note. Please write this down, na? Huh? Returns for close-ended fund: sale price per unit minus purchase price plus dividend. And how much was the investment divided by the purchase price? It's a simple, basic logic. Now, on that note, we will start with question number. Six. Mr. Vivek purchased a three-year-old closed-end fund of Tata when the fund was launched at an opening offer price of ten per unit. So, what is the purchase price? Rupees ten per unit. Since then, the units got listed. After a year, NAV of the fund was twelve point five. However, units were trading at a discount of twenty five percent. Can somebody explain this point to me? During the year, a dividend of five percent was given. Always, always remember, dividend is calculated on. Hello, dividend is calculated on face value. Face value is ten. Five percent of ten is zero point five. Here. The market price, the premium or discount is calculated on NAV per unit to calculate the market price per unit. Do we have the NAV twelve point five? Do we have the discount twenty five percent? Can will we get the market price per unit? Yes, guys, are you understanding? Any doubts, anybody? Okay, so purchase price is clear. Okay, what is the market price, which is nothing but the sale price here as such? Twelve point five minus twenty five percent rupees nine point three seven five per unit. Nav minus discount percentage. Then third. Dividend dividend will be five percent. So rupees ten into five percent is zero point five per unit. Right? We know that dividend always calculated on. Face value done, guys. So, so what is the thing that we have to do? If Vivek sells the unit in exchange, how would he have earned any return at all? So, how do you calculate the return? Do you know how to calculate the return? 
Yes, sir. We know. Selling price minus purchase cost plus dividend on purchase cost. How much is the selling price? 9.375 minus purchase cost plus dividend 0.5 divided by purchase cost 10. Am I right? Equal to equal to minus 1.25% loss. Achha? Clear, clear, clear. Next. Clear guys? Yeah. Next, question number 7 everybody. And this will be the last question of the day. As I told you all, I will slowly and steadily build upon things. So today, we did the concept of yesterday and today's nap. And now, we did the concept of closed-ended fund. In closed-ended fund, there are only two sums. And done with both of them, settled with both of them. Alright? So, Mr. V is the name of the question. Ideally, I wanted you to solve this as a homework. But it's okay. Even I can do it. Mr. V purchased a closed-ended fund with a NAV of 25 per unit for only rupees 20. What is this 20? It is the market price per unit. At the end of the year, the fund's NAV was 27. But was selling at 5% premium. So NAV plus 5% premium market price. So this can I say is the purchase price. This is the selling price. It did not pay any dividend during the year. What was the original discount and what was Mr. B's return? So I think very easy question. Original NAV 25 but selling for 20. So original NAV per unit rupees 25 market price per unit rupees 20 am i right so what is the discount discount is equal to rupees 5 per unit if you have to calculate in terms of percentage it will be how much if you have to calculate in terms of percentage how much will be is the discount that is being given? So, 25 minus 20 upon 25, the original price. So, from the original NAV, it has reduced to 20. So, can I say 5 upon 25 and that is 20% is the discount.
Then none and then. See this original discount calculation is the basic that you have done in your school also. Now comes the return of close ended fund. But for that we should also know the selling price. See this is the purchase price guys. Remember this is the purchase price. Then now we will use the selling price, sales price per unit. What is the sale price? Was 27 and selling at 5% premium. So rupees 27 plus 5% premium. 28.35 Achha now calculate the returns 28.35 minus 20 upon original investment 20 so 8.35 divided by 20 equal to 47.5 Hey, Sanjay Guru, everybody. With this, I complete today's session. I hope things are slowly steady growing in your head. Now the timing will increase. Now the timing will increase slowly and steadily. Okay? Shalom. Take care. Keep smiling. The lectures and notes will be uploaded and you can watch it out from there. Anything else, let me know. You can drop me a WhatsApp anytime. We'll be happy to help you. Bye-bye. Thank you.